a perfect spring pasta dish. Peas, tender greens, crispy prosciutto, and all made in the time it takes the pasta to cook. I'm gonna cook the, start the pasta now. It's uh, Gemelli, twins, that kind of curled around each other pastas, but these are particularly hard flours that takes a while to cook. So I have here some uh, olive oil in a pan and some prosciutto cut up, and I wanna just cook this until it gets crisp. So we're not using, I'm not using much, it's just an ounce or two, but just uh, I'm gonna cook that like bacon until it's crisp, and that's gonna be a garnish with some Parmesan. In the meantime, some oil and butter, some shallots in there, chopped shallots, until they're softened. I like the olive oil butter thing, especially here, because you've got the prosciutto fat, which takes especially well to olive oil, but you've got the peas, the Parmesan, the lettuce, which are very spring-like and almost, well, Parmesan is dairy too, obviously, but they take very well to butter, so the combination here is wonderful. Okay, and as soon as those shallots are tender, in goes some chopped butter lettuce, some fresh or frozen peas, that you do as well as you can, and about a half a cup of stock. We're just gonna get all of this tender, which it will be by the time the pasta is done. We're looking for what you would look for in bacon, quite crisp, and as it cools off, it's gonna crisp up even more. Pasta's done, it took about 12, maybe even 15 minutes. We're just tossing it with lettuce and peas. It's nice and saucy. Well, that's a beautiful spring dish. Stir in that Parmesan. Notice how that binds everything, pulls it all together as it melts. Mmm, the aroma is really wonderful, that melted Parmesan. And I'm not stirring the prosciutto in. I'm really using it. You can, you can hear how crackly crisp it is. I'm really using it as a garnish. Something nice and unexpected, which is the, the really sharp shards of prosciutto against the super tender, almost mushy, but not quite lettuce. It's a really nice combination, quite different.